One day after celebrating Martin Luther King Jr., a community members in Rochester are denouncing remarks made at an event honoring the holiday. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm James Wilcox. And I'm Laura Lee. Today, the Diversity Council and the Rochester Chamber of Commerce sent out an email addressing some inappropriate remarks made at the annual MLK breakfast. ABC 6 News reporter Olivia York has details on what some say some Diversity Council members call a hijack. The Rochester Chamber asked Reverend Sidney Fry to provide a three minute opening speech to center around non denominational gratitude. What they got may not have been what they asked for. Our families are being eroded and destroyed by a number of vices, from sexual immorality to drug addiction, by teen pregnancy, to the killing of innocent children in the womb. The voice you just heard is the Reverend Fry giving the invocation as he had been asked to do. ABC 6 News was able to talk to the executive director of the Diversity Council, Dee Sable, to hear her thoughts on what it seemed the Reverend was saying. What the Reverend's remarks indicated was that from his perspective and his point of view, some of the things that were weakening the black family and causing crises in the African American and black community were the recent decision by the Supreme Court that altered the definition of marriage. And also, really, he kind of called out women as well, and, and that things like a woman's right to choose were things that were weakening the black community. To some, the Reverend's words ostracized a number of the 500 plus people in the audience, to the point the chamber reached out Tuesday by email to address them. The email read, we want to acknowledge that some less than inclusive messaging was presented during the event. We understand that to be a truly inclusive community, space must be provided for everyone to express their viewpoint. However, this kind of messaging is not appropriate at an event that is intended to promote diversity and inclusion. Now, we did reach out to the Reverend. However, he did not return our calls, and according to a caller who asked to remain anonymous, the incident might be addressed at the Human Rights Commission's open meeting on Thursday.